Hey guys, how's it going? So I already made a video helping you choose which uh, crop sensor APS-C camera you want to get from the Canon series. It's the T, the T series two through five, or the 60D or the 70 if you want. I think it's a little overpriced for being the same sensor. But now I want to talk a little bit about lenses because um, as I was buying my my camera, my 60D. You know, it was between, I could get the kit lenses, and I've heard a lot of people say, you know, they get the lens, the kit lens, and they'll sell it immediately, or get a, they want a better lens. And so I wanted to speak a little bit about the, the different pros and cons of getting the kit lens. Uh, with most of these kit lenses, like this one comes with, you can either get the 18 to 35 millimeter, IS means image stabilized, uh, e EFS lens, and the S in the EFS lens means it's only for a crop type sensor camera. So the T-Series, all these crop sensor cameras, that's what the S stands for. Those uh, lenses cannot go onto a full frame camera. They're too big and the mirror's too close, a lot of stuff, but they can't go into a full frame camera. So say you're getting a, a crop sensor camera, you have the 60D or one of the T-Series or the 70, but you know you're thinking about getting a full frame camera, know that whatever lens you get that's got an S on it, those are just for your crop sensor cameras. Now the other way is if it's just an EF lens, those will work for either. It, uh, your full frame lenses will go onto your crop sensor camera. The only difference is, say you have, you know, uh, 18 to 135 millimeter uh, EF lens for your full frame camera, and you put that onto your crop sensor camera, your 60D or whatever you have. Um, it will multiply at times 1.6, and it's like pretty basic math to do. So, I mean, I'm not, I can't do it right now, but your 18 to 135 will now become like a 27 to, you know, 160 or something like that. But you basically multiply each number by 1.6. So, I mean, if you're thinking about getting a full frame in your near future, you might want to. You may want to just find a nice EF lens because it will carry over to your full frame, you know. Or you could get the kit lens and you'll probably have to, to sell it on eBay uh, to, you know, to upgrade to get a full frame lens. Because again, the EFS lenses, the kit lenses, will not go onto a full frame camera. The other thing I was looking into was the moving apertures. Like the kit lenses usually come with, you know, it's 18 to 135 or 18 to 55 or 17 to 50 or something like that. Okay, sorry, I found it. Usually like an uh, EFS 18 to 55 millimeter will be f 3.5 through 5 so meaning you know if you're fully zoomed out wide angle you can go down to a, a 3 or a 3.5 and if you're zoomed in all the way you can only go down to an aperture of 5 and um, the main problem I find with that is if you're doing video and for whatever reason you like to zoom while you're filming that changes because it's say you're wide angle and you see you're filming and you're fully um, you have the biggest aperture of a 3.5 and then you zoom in, that aperture has to change because it can only go up to a 5 when you're fully zoomed in. So if you're doing video and you zoom in, the aperture will change and your image will get a little darker. And I'll show you some samples, uh, some examples of that happening. And here you can actually see what I mean when you see the aperture goes up and you zoom. Right now it's at a 4.0. I zoom into this tree, eventually it goes up to the 4.5 and then to the 5.0. That's when the end of 5.6. So that's the range of my aperture, and that's what's happening. When you're zooming in, it can't stay at the four because it's not that good. Of, well, it's, that's the lens. It turns up to the 5.6, and that's why the darkness and the light changes a little bit. There you go. And you know, some frames are, or some lenses are worse. Some, you know, you don't really notice it, and so. Depends on what you're going to do. Like, if you don't zoom while you're filming, like if you're making professional videos, there's usually not a lot of zooms in it. However, like for me, I like to zoom sometimes, and I don't want it to be like you zoom in and it's darker and it just looks weird and you can't really use that shot. You know, like Quentin, Tar Quentin Tarantino, you know, he uses zooms. Like, professionals sometimes still use zooms. It's kind of like a taboo thing. You don't want to zoom in a professional video. But, you know, every once in a while you might want to. And if you have a, a lens with a constant aperture, like a 2.0 or 2.8 aperture, and you zoom in, it's not going to change. It's still going to be a bigger, a bigger aperture. And on top of that, you know, with these kit lenses, they're usually the aperture doesn't go very low. They usually start at like 3.5 to 5 or something like that. 
you may want to, you know, invest in either a prime lens, which is a fixed lens, and their apertures usually, they open pretty wide, all the way down to like 1.2 and stuff, and they're not that expensive, but then you can't, you know, if you're starting out, you might want to try a whole bunch of different focal lengths, so you might want to get a, a zoom, a telephoto lens, um, but I would still, you know, you might want to get one with a set aperture, so you can zoom and the darkness won't change or anything like that. And again, you might want to get an EF regular lens so you can, when you upgrade or if you do, switch your lens, you know, onto your full frame camera. If you have a bunch of kit lenses or uh, EFS lenses only meant for the crop sensor camera, and then when you upgrade, you're going to be like, dang, it's, I have to either sell all these on eBay or throw them in the garbage. Another reason you might want to get a better lens with a lower aperture is in dark low light situations you lose a lot of detail in the dark and the shadows. Some of it not even very usable. This isn't even super dark. It is at the lowest aperture of 3.5 for my kit lens. And a lot of information is lost. It still looks pretty cool, but more information can be picked up on a lens, definitely a prime lens or any lens with a lower aperture. Still pretty cool though. This is where they used to keep elephants. This is the old zoo. Alright, so I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. <clears throat>